as a lot of the Americans have uh, really turned in some good times. Men's 200 meter freestyle is next. And one of the featured swimmers is Ricky Behrens. He'll be swimming out of lane four, 23 years old now. Had a big win last night, Rowdy, in the 100 free, turning in a personal best. Huge win, and he likes the 200 even better. He was part of that 800 free relay that won goal, right, in Beijing. All right, so it's Behrens working from the middle of the pool in lane four. As we check the lanes, Dinko Jukic of Austria swimming for Europe in lane one, coached by his father, Selko. Connor Dwyer of the U.S. is in lane two, second in that 400 free last night. Trains with Ryan Lochte. Lane three, Dominic Maitri of Switzerland, sixth in Beijing in this event. And he is next to Behrens in lane four out of the Trojan Swim Club. Pavel Korjanowski of Poland is next to Behrens in lane five. He was the European champion of the 200 fly back in 2010. Lane six, Matt McLean, third here in the 400 freestyle last night, won this event at the World University Games earlier this summer. And Robbie Rennick of Great Britain rounds out the field in lane seven as lane eight will be open. Rennick was eighth in Beijing. What about uh, challenges for Barons and the rest of the field? Could it come from uh, Mike Tree in lane three, Robbie? Uh, it's got to. I mean, there's no... There's no waiting anymore for the Europeans. They have to do it right now. It has to take place, and they've got to go one, two. There's no more splitting anymore. There's no first and third or second and third. They've got to sweep here to have a chance to get back into this meet. So the lanes work from one to eight, from top to bottom, and again, no lane eight. So seven swimmers in this field. Barron's right in the middle there in lane four. I was talking to Connor Dwyer up there in lane number two, had such a good 400 last night, and he said it just felt good to finally swim fast. He said he's going to go for, out for it right away, just like he did in the 400. And I was also talking to Ricky and how much he was really excited about that 100, Dan. You mentioned it earlier, and he said, I just love short course swimming. I love the walls. I love getting underneath the huge wave the swimmers bring in. He's a big boy, so he's can do, he can do that. Barron's just with a slight lead over Mike Tree, and it's kind of a mixed bag of training that we're finding from all the swimmers here. Some Americans have really trained That's hard, some are in shape, some are in racing shape, so you never really know what to expect. I'm glad you mentioned that, Dan, because that's an example of Ricky Barron's right there coming in, rested at the very peak, shaved, and then a Connor Dwyer who comes in kind of sits still fairly tired up there in lane number one, or pardon me, two. So Barron's has taken control of this race, although just above him is Mike Tree, very close, and not letting Barron's drift too far away, although Barron's is looking pretty good. He's got about a body length lead on Mike Tree. A big glide off that wall for Ricky Barron's. You can see Mike Tree trying to get up against that lane line just to touch to try to catch a little bit of a draft. Any further behind, though, he's going to start eating Barron's ways, and look at the kick he has now with Barron's. Ricky's starting to put his kick into it, and once again, the Americans, here come the Americans. Barron's on a final turn, running first, and it's a battle for the second spot. Connor Dwyer beginning to come on in lane two. In fact, Mike Tree in lane three is fading, and lane six is Matt McLean, who's also challenging for a top three spot. So it's Barron's, McLean, and Dwyer, and another American sweep. How about Ricky Barron's? What an incredible breakout meet he is having right now. And I say breakout, and you think, well, breakout, he's been an Olympian, he's been on the World Champion. Why would you say breakout? Because it's a breakout individual. And we've known R Ricky so much for relays, and all of a sudden he swims and wins the 100, and now the 200 in dominating fashion. It wasn't even close, and you can tell the excitement on his face. The turn, as I said, those big boys create a huge wave. What he does, Dan, is he kind of slips up underneath that wave. He, all that wave, he gets underneath it as long as possible. He runs that line. Once again, watch when he comes off, Dan. There he is right there. Watch when he comes off this 150 turn here. This is the next to last turn. He gets up underneath the wave, and he runs the line as long as possible, and he does that gnaw, nice dolphin kick, Ricky keeps his head down. Here, Beautiful swim by Ricky Behrens and all three Americans. Yep, nine more points for the United States as Behrens adds a second win here, the duel of the pool.